Mike Entrepreneur Army, very important video. Make sure you follow along, stay with me. Um, hey, there's a hole in your roof. So we had a guy flip out, um, cursing me out, telling me I needed to clean that roof. We agreed to clean that roof, but I refused to do so because he had two holes in it. He had two holes in his roof and what he was trying to do was trying to scam me and he knew that with those two holes in the roof there would have got somehow got a little bit of chemical even if i change you know even if i tried to stay away from the holes in the roof there would have it would have got a little wet in there and plus the rain has been damaging this roof inside the holes you'll see in the video but he was trying to scam me so he could blame me for getting chemical and stuff inside his house and he didn't live there and the fact that he got so mad and cursed me out if he was a reasonable person he would have understood or even th thanked me for coming out there for no money at all showing him taking pictures of holes in his roof he had to have known that there was holes in this roof so follow along and just be careful out there guys make sure you get insurance and always document before and after photos and videos so no one puts the blame on you and puts you through insurance fraud because then it's on you and your company. Enjoy. Alright, so we got a little uh little red staining right there I'm gonna show you just real quick with some oxalic acid will do be very careful make sure you got your safety squints on uh, this is just raw oxalic powder I keep in these little I think these are these are two pound containers so uh, 32 ounce just gonna get a little bit on my glove here try and grab a little chunk of it see what it does don't spill it like I'm about to do do a little quick just kidding don't do that and so here we are see the orange staining obviously you can use a brush in this situation just wanted to show you guys something real quick you can see where Hey, spray my hand. See that? You could, obviously you want to put this in a bucket and maybe spray it on, put it in a pump up, mix a pound per gallon, but hold on one second. Put a little more on my hand. Heads up real quick. There you go. Spray my hand. You can rinse that off. Alright, so we just uh, finished our big roof for today. Big, big roof. Close to 6,000 square feet. Um, took us, I don't know, three, by the time we, you know, by the time we set up and everything, probably took us three hours. Maybe four, including the setup and breakdown by the time we rolled out and stuff like that. Um, now I'm on my way to do this estimate. But a lot of people keep asking me about insurance. So I'll put it at the bottom. The guy's name is Josh. Uh, he works for Brightway. And I don't think that's the name of the insurance I have. They're just a broker company. Uh, I'm super happy with my plan. Uh, it's commercial it allows me to be on when I first started um, I had a plan that only allowed me to do like a certain percentage of roofs 
which when I started was fine because I did a lot of driveways and things like that. But then I quickly changed it to do as many roofs as I want. And uh, I think up to three stories or something like that. And I pay, I don't know, I want to say around a hundred bucks a month. And that's not including workman's comp. That's a, a separate thing. But for the guys just starting out, uh, I'll put the email. His name's Joshua. Just tell him, you know, you can just tell him you, you don't have to tell him you heard of him from me, but you can. Uh, I did let him know. I said, hey, is it all right if I put you on YouTube, like his info? So he said, yeah. So I'll put that in the bottom too. Guys, does anyone know how to get the bushing off of your engine? So I got my pulley for the pump which i know how to get off that's pretty easy but does anyone know how to get this uh it, there was two set screws that i unscrewed and i know with this one i gotta take these bolts out put them in here and it backs it off is there any trick to get this uh pulley off of the engine let me know thanks guys this type of pulley i don't know if you guys can see i lubed it up there was set screws uh here and here where the set screws and there's another hole here but all the set screws are out so let me know if anyone knows how to get this off all right so we're on this perfect shingle roof easy cleaning today but looks like a super easy roof to clean not much to it but wait so i called the homeowner told him Hey, there's a hole in your roof. Um, yeah, just want to point that out to you. And wait, there, but wait, there's more. Loose shingles just everywhere. Another hole. So. He may or may not say it's okay for me to clean it anyway, but here's the thing. I'm not going to clean this. It's not worth the liability. He may try to turn around and blame this on me. And once there's bleach inside that house, they may actually blame me. So, we are opting out of doing this job. Sometimes it's better just to be safe than sorry and not play around when it comes to holes on the roof. Those of you that have been following the channel know I have dealt with this before, cleaned the whole roof. Someone tried blaming me. I had my before pictures and after pictures and was able to prove to the homeowner that I did not do it, but he was trying to get me to pay out of pocket $1,400 for the repair. And if I was naive, I would have been out that money. So. Sometimes it's best just to take the L, the small L, and say, no, I came out here for nothing and wasted my time, but I'm not getting blamed for this. So, just a little point. And you can shut that off. I'm just going to roll up and get out. So, about that roof, right? So, that guy was trying to scam me. You know how I know? So... I sent, I call him and I say, hey, listen, you got holes in your roof. Um, just want to let you know. And then I, you know, I was like, listen, I sent him a text. I was like, here. He said, send me the pictures and I'll call you right back. And I did. And 20, 30 minutes, 45 minutes goes by. He never called back. I kept sending him more pictures. I tried calling. He didn't answer. So I pack up. I, I text him and I say, hey, sir. You know, not going to say his name. Um, you know, it's unethical for me to clean a broken roof, which, you know, I just don't want the liability. I don't want him blaming me because I've been there before. And he actually got really upset with me. He told me, uh, oh, why can't you clean it? This is ridiculous, you know. And I said, sir, you have two giant holes in your roof. And I don't know if this will be before or after, but there are some big holes, as you can tell in the video. Either it's coming on after this or it's coming up. 
But anyway, that guy was definitely trying to scam me because anyone reasonable would be like, thank you so much. Um, you know, some people would just clean it, collect their money and go. I didn't charge him a dime. I got up on his roof, took pictures, documented so he knows what's going on. That's why I feel like he knew and he was trying to get me to get involved so he can blame me. So always, always, always take before, always observe the whole property, note any damage because you could be liable. I had a backup Predator engine that I had for a while now. Just put the new one on. Um, here's the old one I'm going to bring back to Harbor Freight. But first I got to get the bushing off. So there's the old one. Got to get the bushing off that thing. Once I get that bushing off, I'll bring this back and get a, another Predator engine. Um, that's what's beautiful about the two-year warranty. To be honest, I don't even think I I don't even think this was broken. I just think I had connection issues. But I went ahead and took it off because I think march will be two years with this or february i think february and i just went ahead took it off i had the other one sitting in in my storage so i put the new one on put the new one on breaking it in just running it on low rpms you're actually supposed to run it without any load at all but eh, it don't matter honestly so took the this is almost two years old and i'm gonna bring it in and i really do think it was still working it was just something with the connection because when i hooked this up it wasn't starting so i re i re uh soldered on the tip for the power and it started right up and i knew that this probably wasn't nothing wrong with it but i needed to take it off anyway because the two years is almost up so i got a brand new engine gonna return that in for a brand new engine and uh, we're rocking and rolling. So today was a loss, you know. I had to pay my guy, Anthony, even though we didn't make any money. But we got some stuff done. And all in all, that's all that matters. So that roof that had the holes in it, man, that was crazy. 